What's up, guys? Episode 2 of Gun of the Week. My name is Josh, and it's on Havana again. I'll explain why later. First thing I want to talk about is that I'm not really a good free-for-all player. I never play. The only time I do is when I'm going for Gun of the Week and nobody's on, which is a rare occasion when nobody else is online. Second thing is I need a new intro. I'm willing to pay at least $10 in intro. Uh, I want it professional. I do not want like a cheap one. Quickly made under like two seconds. I really want a good intro. Because I like to see a nice intro in front of my videos. And another thing I want to talk about is stupid, you uh, not YouTube videos, history channel videos all about 2012, the world's going to come to an end. I am very sick of seeing all this crap about the world is coming to an end. It is the most annoying thing in the world. Every time I wake up, and I usually put on history channel because like Pawn Stars, Top Gear, all those good shows. And I always wake up it's like, the world's going to end on December 21st, 2012 because of this, 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 this. It's like, oh my god, shut up. I don't care if the world's... That you guys think the world's gonna end. It's just like Y2K. Everybody's gonna get all hyped up for nothing. Oh, the world's gonna end. Oh, Jesus. The missiles are all gonna get launched because the computer's all gonna fail. And we're all gonna die. Oh, Jesus. What happened? Nothing. It's all fake crap. The minds even said. Okay, I was reading this on Yahoo News a while ago. <clears throat> the, um, the Mayans even said that. The world's not going to end. We just stopped making the calendar, okay? That And they actually, the existing minds literally said that. Not quoted, but that's that's what they said. It's just, it's not going to end. Really, j you, everyone's getting all hyped up for nothing, of course. It's how the world is always is. Everyone gets hyped up for stupid crap that never is going to happen, ever. And <clears throat> Yeah, the world's going to end someday, but it's not going to happen because the Earth... The Earth is gonna be all the planets are gonna be lined up. That already happened in 2006, so of course that ain't gonna be the reason. Other people said huge, a million earthquakes and huge typhoons gonna destroy the Earth. And shut up. We'll see when it happens. And the best part about it is if I'm gonna be right no matter what. All right, because if the world's not gonna end, I won't look stupid because the world's not gonna end. And second, if I was wrong, no one would give a shit because everyone's dead. <laughs> all right, so let's get on with the stats of the Scorpion. <clears throat> the Scorpion is the best shell machine gun in the game, by far. I love it. This is my favorite gun in the game, basically, now, except for the FAMAS and GBs. But this Scorpion is so beast. It has absolutely no recoil. It's so underused. People, if you're watching this commentary, please try out the Scorpion with a silencer and extended mags or either or. This gun is so, so good. Like, I even tried it from a long distance kill, and I got it. Way better than the 74U. <clears throat> if you want an alternative and you're sick of people using the 74U and you don't want to use it, you want to use a good submachine gun, use this. Don't use the MP5. This is just a way, way better gun than the MP5 by far. I mean, look at it. There's no recoil at all. It's just every bullet is on target. You never even need to move your right analog stick while you're shooting to side to side if the target <clears throat> is going straight. I mean, it's perfect. I love this gun. It's so underused. It was underused in COD 4, too. I mean, just, like, you go back to COD 4 and try it out. It's amazing. It's it's such a good gun. You know, it's, people underestimate it because how small it is. And people don't use it because of the 74U. Everyone knows, it. see, here's the long shot I want to try getting. Well, it's just, every bullet's on target, you know? It's just a nice gun. But, like I was saying... Everyone's overshadowed by the 74U that no one even has a chance to even try this gun out. And I love it. This is way better than some uh, AK-74U. This is the first game I even used the Scorpion, okay? And I love it already. It's just so beast. I'm not using the 74U probably ever again because of this gun. The only time I use the 74U is because it has more bullets. But other than, other than that, it's just way better. Thank you, uh, Treyarch, for putting this gun back in the game and that nobody knows about it. So let's go on with the uh, real stats of the gun. Let me set up, pull up the website. All right, so I pull up the website, denkirson.exana.com. I'll put in the link in the description below. But this gun has 50 damage points up to about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, it's about twos. So it's about twos. So about maybe 10 meters, 50 damage. And the rest is, and it drops down to 20, about 15 meters. And which is really respectable because there's absolutely no recoil. The 74U, let me pick that up, has only 40 damage 
and it drops a 20 at 25 meters. So this gun is as effective as the 74U at long distance with less recoil. The 74U has 65% up, 20% down, 65% left and right. And the Scorpion has only 30% up, 50% left and right, and 20% down. So it stays more in the middle. And the 74U, they basically center at the same time, which is a good thing. At least that stays the same. And it's just, I think this is an overall better gun than the 74U. Definitely, definitely try out this gun. You, you'll you probably love it. To tell you the truth, it's it's nice. Hmm, the drop thing. Alright, so 74U takes half second to pick up it and 0.4 seconds to drop it. It Fire time is 0.08. Fire time is from when it shoots and stops. Okay, when you uh, pull the trigger, it takes that long to shoot. RPM is 750 rounds a minute. Magazine size, of course, 20 or 30. Reload time takes 2.35 seconds to reload. To add, it takes 1.8 seconds. And to empty <clears throat> the clip, it takes 3.2 seconds. So, 20 round magazine takes 3.2 seconds to empty it. With excited mags, it takes the same amount of time. Hmm, weird. Alright, well, the game is coming to an end now. Oh. Am I recording? Oh, yes, I am recording. Okay. Game's coming to an end. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Subscribe if you like my videos. It'll really help. I think I've gotten better as a commentator as coming on and more of these videos every week. Thank you for watching.